yet. Yes. And they are throwing out the fist bumps. It looks like they're getting started in just a moment here. Yeah, doing a quick button check as they do, and we will get right into it. I, Like I said, I'm super excited to see what these teams will bring to the table. Likewise. As you get to high-level doubles, you'll have a lot more synergies and a lot more um, like team combos and just two players playing off of each other, which yeah. is something you really don't get in the base game when, with singles. The layered offense is typically a big thing you're going to look for. You're going to look at the mobility characters holding back as the big kill characters can kind of hold their ground and stay up front. And right away, you're seeing that from Gary and Yoder are just kind of ping-ponging both of them right now, keeping Rob and Tony in the middle, which is where you do not want to be in doubles. Yeah, monkey in the middle is not the name of the game, even though Diddy yeah. Kong is on the screen. <laughs> ha, I see what you got going on there. Yes. Oh! Wow! Yeah, Yoder immediately finding that combo. That's a great start for uh, Gary and Yoder. That's what they're going to be relying on, is getting those early kills. Luigi's so good Woo. at setting those up, and Gary coming out with some fire of his own, a down air, to put both of them on the board already. Yeah, the green team really bringing out the haymakers immediately, and that's something that you are bit of, that's a benefit of doubles. You can swing out those big moves because you know your teammate has your back to yeah. kind of cover any unnecessary in lag you may have. Speaking of those same big moves, already both of the blue team members are on the board. Anthony and Rob both finding stocks of their own. And now the chaos ensues in the center. Gary and Yoder slightly with a team combo there as they break off into their own 1v1s. Anthony comes over to assist. Yes. The scramble persists. Oh my gosh, speaking of scramble, that DI, what a mix-up as we see Snake just falling way too early percent, especially in a doubles environment. Yeah, Yoder can catch you way off guard with those Luigi combos. You never know which way he's going to send you, up, down, left, or right. It doesn't feel right when you're off stage, I'll tell you that much. Indeed, indeed. Speaking of not feeling right, doubles does have a little bit less of a modifier on the damage, so typically what you will see yeah. is that one player is able to hang on to stocks for a lot longer than typical, but um, Green Team just taking them off the board super quickly. Yeah, and there's that layered offense I was talking about right here. Yoder staying up front, Gary staying in the back. He has wow. the mobility and he up a whole wait, lot wait, of nothing. Wait. We just got a freaking acute angle of, of badness going on there. But luckily, Rob is able to get back to stage here. And that's why grabs are so risky in doubles. Your teammate's going to come in and punish. Now Gary and uh, Gary and Yoder have Tony in a hard place. He's way off stage. Yo. Gary's going to punish with barrels. Yeah, what an explosive finish there. The green team honestly has all the momentum on their side, even though they only have a one-stock advantage. Yeah, double barrels. It's not a shotgun, but it shoots Rob <laughs> off the left side there. Now. Uh, blue team just holding that center stage, doing a great job at that, and Yoder immediately gets flung off. One stock a piece for everyone. We got a nail biter already. Yes, I'm really liking this. This, like I said, this doubles action. It goes by quickly. You have to kind of keep your eye on one, one person at a time because everything will just start happening all at the same time here. Yeah, if you try to look at it all at once, it could turn into a blur. Rob risking the early stock loss, and he does just that. Not exactly early, but not the way you want to see it go off the board. And now with Gary at such a high percent, Tony could, could Tony could very realistically take the stock and catch Yoder in a 1v1. Yeah, but the banana is not going to make that easy. <laughs> yeah, this is where the magic happens in doubles. The 2v1 scenario, especially when one of the teammates is at such a high percent, we could either get a 2v1 comeback or find like some nasty uh, one versus two combo to finish off this game. Yeah, the green team not out of the woods yet. Yoder gets that grab. Gary can't Aww. find the F smash. They didn't have the communication on deck. And now Anthony is still managing to play evasive. The F-Tilt sends him off stage, catches Gary with a down air. This is where it gets scary for Gary at ledge. Just holding that shield. Evades yeah. danger, but not long enough. And now Yoder in a terrible matchup. These two play all the time. And Yoder very seldom uh, comes out on top. Oh my goodness. Ooh, the back air nah, is going to finish it out. Nah, he did not screen cap that. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course he did. Of course he did. I love it from Anthony. I love it. Yeah, and just as I say, he didn't come out on top. Yoder was on top, but in all the wrong ways. In all the wrong ways, right there. Yeah, just after could the not back air, the, in the top right, in the top left corner, after that back air, the immediate <laughs> screen cap into Pog is crazy. <laughs> Look here, Rob, man. <laughs> <laughs> it, it had to have been Anthony. He's the only pro controller guy over there. Of course, there. of course. <laughs> You know, one of the biggest benefits for a pro controller, it's not even about like some frame delay stuff. It's, it's about the BM. So yeah, it's the BM. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. The BM comes through in game one, my dad. Yeah, exactly. My dad, the game one BM. Uh, we'll see if he can back up that bad man behavior mm -hmm. as immediately that layered offense that we like to talk about comes into effect. Yoder and Snake holding down the front as the quick characters keep themselves in the back. 
Yeah, you mentioned layered offense, but honestly, blue team seems like they're going to try to slow this one down. They really didn't interact there for the first 30 seconds yeah. and are only just now bringing the fight to green team here. Yeah, and the blue team is uh, going to be much better at uh, putting on the damage from far away. Great tech there from Gary. Keeps himself alive. Yoda's got to be careful. The shield draws low there. And now they break off into their own 1v1s. Green team coming out on top until Yoder gets set to the right. Yeah, that was unfortunate there. Got a grab and ended up getting reversal there by the grenade into Anthony's lovely back air there. And it breaks off. Tony on stage now. That's not where you want to be in doubles necessarily. Mm -hmm. If you have a teammate off stage, they're going to focus the guy on stage. And they do just that to a T as Robbie loses the stock off the right side. Okay. He trades with Yoder. Yeah, looking good. And that up tilt is going to even out the stocks here for Ness. Ooh, stocks flying off the board right now. Tony trying to clip those wings, though. Not, not let his fly away as 106%. A scary scenario, but that's the thing about the green team. They don't exactly have ways to get those raw kill options. They don't have a move that they can just throw out and kill you with. So they have to find setups or ledge guards or bizarre ways to, to finagle their kills, as Gary does, into the up smash, catches it off of Anthony. Yeah, speaking of bizarre, there was a lot of kind of uh, team attack there that led to blue team losing a stock there. Very unfortunate turn of events for sure. Unfortunate. Now all four characters off stage. Yeah. Gary's going to chase out with a down air, breaks the cypher. Rob keeps himself alive. Now Anthony finds himself off stage, and so does Rob. The blue team just can't find their footing. Now this is honestly where the frantic action will happen. Both teams get alternate grabs there. Oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah. Just turns around and scoops it. Gary thinking that Anthony was baiting, but baiting he was not. Yeah, that's like a doubles classic. You know, you yeah. run one way and then literally dash towards the other opponent and just hit him with a smash attack. As Yoder finds that up smash, speaking of smash attacks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's pretty easy to uh, bait, bait which teammate you're targeting in doubles, which is not a mix-up afforded to you in singles. Now both of the blue team again stuck in dis disadvantageous positions. Yoder finds a grab, but no follow-up again. Anthony's been so good at covering those, the green team hasn't been able to get these uh, long-term setups that they need to rely on with a character matchup like this. Yeah, it's interesting. Because of how much visual clutter that Snake creates in doubles, you would imagine it would be quite difficult to play with the character. But when you have the synergy with the Snake player, you can do some nasty stuff and kind of put your opponents always in a frazzled state here. Yeah, and Tony and Rob, such a static team. They play with each other all the time. Yeah. The snake things are very much in their favor. Yoder could find the early stock there, but this is a really rough spot for him. He hates both of these matchups and singles. Gets the grab, but no yeah. limit. The up tilt does it anyways. Unlimited coverage provided by Snake and Cloud as Robbie and Anthony isn't cool are your first winners in Devil's Top Cut. Yeah, you're talking about layered offense. That was a whole butter layered cake. I was an onion. <laughs> yeah, a whole onion. onion. You know what? Yeah, I was going for something more sweet, but uh, that type it was of sweet. finish. I like that better. Yeah, I, like I know. I was like, yeah, that type of finish is a bit more sour, so we can go with your onion. Yeah, you know, yeah, your yeah. onion one for now, for now. Yeah, that's that's the interesting thing about doubles. It's It affords players mix-ups and things to do that you wouldn't normally see in singles. Mm -hmm. It allows you to dash to the left, think you're going to put yourself in the scrap with the other two players, and immediately turn around, Anthony rips an up smash, right? Yeah, exactly. It's, it, it's a mix-up that you're not used to seeing. It takes a long time to get used to in doubles. And that was, for the record, the 26 seed, Gary and Yoder, falling to the 4 seed. Yeah, and I mean... It, I didn't really mention it because it really didn't come up. Both the green and blue team in that match were just kind of swinging all over each other. But typically how these high-level double sets goes is that you have one like support-ish player is how I've seen it described. As yeah. you, you mentioned it a lot of times. Like the person with the highest movement will try to just kind of play evasive, hang on to those stocks and just be annoying to take that stock off of. Um, because it's like a mix of you know, the lower damage percentage that you do in doubles and being able to have your teammate cover you, you could just really be a annoying stock tank for the other team to yeah. kind of try to chunk their way through. But honestly, green team had such an effective offense. and um, They did. Yeah. They they really fell apart on the defensive side, yeah, right? Exactly. Once Once Rob and Anthony kind of started putting the pieces together, that's when the, the tower that has been Gary and Yoda kind of <laughs> fell apart. Um, and that's the interesting thing about doubles that you were talking about.